Hey friends, so far you've been enjoying my Git tutorials. I'm doing the best that I can. You'll notice that some of them are long. They'll go 20 minutes or 30 minutes, and they're also done with minimal cuts. As you know, I try to do these things entirely in one take, and if something has been removed, it's usually just because it took a long time, and I cut out the boring parts but I don't want to make one of those YouTube channels that's a lot of quick cuts uh, because it makes it hard for you to see what's actually happening. This is a slower paced channel and if you like that please subscribe and tell your friends. This is going to be a series until we run out of things to talk about. Right now we're in the middle of talking about Git, specifically computer things that they didn't teach you in school. Now an interesting thing has happened. We've got a a new pull request to our learning Git repository from our new friend, Manuel Valenzuela, and he says, hey, there's a secret here, and you should not ship it. He's got the ship it squirrel there. So what's going on here? It's a pull request. Well, let's go and see what files have changed. It looks like, uh oh, he has put in a password. He has committed a password here into his pull request and he wants to know if we merge it into main can we make it disappear from the history i think we've all been there where we've accidentally put something into the repository and then pushed it up into the world and now it's out there can we get rid of his super secret password well a real typical thing to, to have happen a typical thing would be for me to come in here and merge this request and say great job so now i've put in github on main his secret password maybe i haven't realized yet that that was a bad idea moreover someone might go and do some other things uh, we'll make a couple of other changes here i'll just do direct edits um, here is something that happened after the secret. Because we've seen before how we can do quick fix-ups, but the reality is it might be a while before someone actually notices. Now, the farther and farther we go into the future, the more that's gonna be a problem. I've just made a couple of changes here. Of course, you don't necessarily wanna do this ordinarily. But I'm making the point that if we look at our commits now, I've got the commit of Manuel's password and then a couple of other things. Now at this point, I might go, oh crap, I gotta get that password out of there. But it's there. Okay, we can click in there. We can see it's there. Can we make it disappear from history? Yes, we can, and no, you shouldn't. You really want to avoid doing these kinds of maneuvers because what we're talking about doing is literally rewriting history. And in this context here, we're rewriting Git's history, and we don't know how many other people are pulling this thing down and dealing with it themselves. Let's look on our tablet here at what this looks like. All right, remember that we have a timeline that's going forward. And on that timeline, we have a series of commits. We'll just make these little commits. And then we'll have Manuel's. And then we'll have another one or another one, right? We've got these commits. And in this case, that one's special, and we want to get rid of it. But other things have happened after that. Remember, we've added a bunch. So we've got this two commits afterwards. You want me to get rid of this and somehow pull it aside and move it off to a, and then say, ah, oh, that never happened. Remember how we talked about time travel before? You can go back in time and kill your grandfather and it causes all kinds of issues. Well, this is kind of surgically, you know, maybe you're killing your grandfather's brother and you want to make sure it doesn't mess up the whole family tree. Inevitably bad things will happen, but could we potentially do something about that. Well, yes and no. What we can do is we can kind of back up in time and just take those, all right? I'll actually select them. We're gonna take these, 
Sorry, something went wrong. Thank you, friend. We want you to be quiet now. Thank you, Alexa. Let's pull them aside. We're going to basically say those three things never happened. And then we're going to try to rewrite that that's not a thing anymore. And then we're going to pull these back and put them back here. But we've rewritten history so much, there's a couple of interesting things that are going on here. That commit will be orphaned. It'll be there. It'll be in our repository, but it's all alone until GitHub, so, um, pardon me, until Git basically garbage collects it and sees that it's, that it's an orphan and takes it away. That's one thing to think about. But also, other people, other people who have made copies of our stuff, for example, let's say that you, you out there, you've gone and made a copy of this stuff, right? So you have a copy of learning Git on your machine. How do we paste here, my friends? Let's find out. There we go. That's not right. Paste. There we go. So here's your machine and mine will look like this. And there's a whole different universe there. So I'm rewriting it in my universe. I need to basically push it into your universe. This could be me. This could be you. Or in this case, this is actually GitHub or some remote that's up there in the world. I need to reconcile those. And the only way to do that is with a thing called force pushing. That's not like a Jedi force push, but it's effectively the same thing because we're basically saying, hey, we know better. And this whole section over here, all of this, trust me, it never happened. We're going to shove our stuff over the top and it can really mess things up. But it's possible. Let's see if we can do it and see how much trouble we get into. And I remind you again, the correct thing to do is to just consider that that password is dead. Feel bad about it. Don't get anybody in trouble. Don't fire anybody. And put in what's called a compensating commit. The fact is, it was a mistake. Let's put in another commit that says we're sorry and that password is now gone. But our friend Manuel has asked to see if we can make it disappear. So we'll give it a try. Let's do that. Now remember, uh, we're over on GitHub learning Git. And you'll see here using my special pretty prompt. And I did a YouTube video on that. You can go and search for Hanselman pretty prompt. I'm using Windows and PowerShell. But I've got some things to pull down. Now when I say git fetch, it will bring those things down. And then I can merge them. So git fetch brings them down, holds them. And then git merge merges them in. Or I can do a git pull. And a git pull is a fetch plus a merge. So let's pull those things down. Okay. So now we're up to date. You can see we're green. So what's interesting here is inside of, I believe it was test, we see our password that we don't want to see. I've seen that. Oh, crap. That's not good. How did that happen? I'm going to run git log and say, oh, my goodness, look at that. Three commits ago, a bad thing happened. Let's, let's deal with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, git rebase okay we're going to do a git rebase it's going to be interactive now if you don't know what a rebase is just pause now and go watch the last video where we talk specifically about rebasing if we go back to here very briefly we're going to say that there's a new base there's a new start that's not the start down here is the start we're going to decide something like that we're going to base everything in a new timeline, a new, a new timeline. And here's the part that's interesting. We're going to say, hey, starting from the head, we're going to go back a little bit. Now, if I said tilde three, we could say two or three, but basically we can pick the number of steps in the past we want to go. Now it's going to pop open an editor. We saw this editor before, and this is a series of instructions. I could go and pick this and pick that. I can, I could fix up this. I could say fix up and that would basically squash that and get rid of that name there, that, uh, that commit message. We saw that we can 
uh, merge or squash these all into one. But what we're actually going to do, and this is really interesting, look at line 25 here in the comments. It's saying, this is important, if you remove a line here, that commit will be lost. That's the secret that Manuel gave us. Okay, if I remove that line, that commit from this series of three, okay, and we're going to remove the one called secret, is going to be orphaned. It's going to be all alone, and it's going to live over here, and we're going to wait around for a while, and Git will eventually toss it. Okay, so we'll do that. Again, don't do this, but... We're teaching you how to drive a stick shift right now, my friends. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close this. Now, here's where things get a little bit weird. If we say, look, it says send two things up and send four things down. What's going on? Git status. Your branch and origin main have diverged. Diverged. We went back in time. We killed our uncle. Our grandfather doesn't know what's going on. Our whole history, family tree is falling apart. What's going on? Here's the thing. While I was doing this, has anything else happened? Has someone else been up in GitHub doing things? If they had, we're going to be in absolute chaos. The only way something like this, the only way a force push like this would really work would be if I told everybody, hey, just stop. I did something horrible. We're going to fix this. We're going to go back and we're going to try something. Uh, bear with me. Don't move. Everyone needs to bring all their stuff down to be latest. And we need to make sure that nobody touches anything. It is, we're about to do a destructive thing here. And we're going to go and unconditionally overwrite that remote repository with whatever we have locally. Overriding any changes that one of our team members may have pushed in the meantime. We've been here together for a few minutes, five minutes. Anything that they pushed up there is gone. So we got to think about that. There is a thing called force with lease that we could do, but get push uh, force is what we'll do for the purposes of this conversation. All right, let's see what happens. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull this and put it off to the side. Pull this, put it off to the side. All right, and we'll go and we'll look at our commits here. All right, there's our password that Manuel has asked us to get rid of. All right, and then over here, you see it's gone. We removed it during that rebase. We deleted it. Now we're going to go and break the world, we're rewriting the timeline. Oops, it says, did you mean force with two dashes? Like two dashes means I'm really serious. If you find yourself having to do this, it's almost always a bad idea, but it is possible. I just want to be clear that no one's going to go and hurt themselves with this. Um, you can shoot yourself in the foot if you point it at your foot. All right. And once again, they're letting us know so is a forced update. Here be dragons. Everything looks green and cool here. Now, watch this right here. We have copy to, copy, Manuel, and Drew from a little while back. I'm going to hit refresh. Okay. The password is gone. Gone. Now you may have heard if you put an image on the internet, even if you delete it quickly, it's never really gone. The same thing kind of applies to doing what we're doing here, which is trying to delete something and imply that it never happened. You can see here that it never happened in the history. Now, it was a pull request though, and the pull request is now closed, and Manuel's secret is still here. So his secret password lives in a merged and closed pull request. As the administrator of this, I cannot delete the pull request. I have to have Manuel do it. If he then deletes this pull request, 
then this will disappear. But right now, it's over in his main. We rewrote history, but not everyone's history. And this is why we get into trouble. Look at this. We went back in time four commits. He stayed one commit in the future. So right now we have a situation where we are simultaneously one commit ahead and four commits behind me. So now Manuel's fork has the secret because he hasn't pulled from our authoritative source and dealt with any kind of merge conflicts that would have uh, happened. So he is ahead in that he has this and also behind because I went back in time and then restacked up fresh new commits minus his. That needs to be reconciled. The really big issue would be if someone had put in a pull request already and had pending things. Honestly, as interesting as it is to play around with Git and force push this and rewrite history that, in my experience, whether it be the Umbrella Academy or whether it be uh, Back to the Future, rewriting history always ends in sadness or a really bad sequel. So if you can avoid it, please try to avoid doing a force push to your main branch. I think that was pretty good. So that gives you a good sense of the power of force push and hopefully the danger of it as well. Thank you, Manuel, for that lovely pull request and the idea for this video. If you enjoyed this, please do subscribe to this channel. Smash that bell, kids, because I'm getting that big, big YouTube money. Dozens and dozens of dollars. Thanks so much for watching.